Hello, welcome to a little vlog. Vlog, is that what you say? I don't know. So I got one of these uh, new Net City things. The thing is the monitor's been changed out and also the insides too, for one of these. Uh, but what is inside this box? Let's take a look. Okay, so I've got an old PC, yay. It's a Core 2, I think, Core Duo, or Celeron, and it's got this little cable hanging out, which is for a switch. So turn it on. So before hooking up the whole thing to the cabinet, I decided to hook it up to a monitor, and I tried putting in three keyboards, and nothing worked. So eventually, what I found out was if I pulled out the VGA cable a little bit, uh, I got power to the keyboard. So then we can hit F1 or whatever, or delete, and we can get into the BIOS. Yay, long time no see. So we can check around here. Got a Maxter 20 gigabyte hard drive. Can play the dates and things and all settings, but whatever. Let's boot it up. What is on this machine? Nice mouse pointer. Oh my. What? It's XP! <laughs> and it's, I don't know, it's off-center, that's for sure. <laughs> Okay, let's see what's on here. Looks pretty bare bones. It is pretty bare bones. <laughs> um. <laughs> Menu's pretty snappy though. So we've got Service Pack 3. XP Pro Performance Edition. Wow, that sounds good. License to name. Huh. <laughs> All right, so there's one folder that seems to be out the ordinary, and that's pretty much it. Can you guess what it is yet? Yeah, it's MAME. Let's check out what version this is. It's MAME 0.97 plus or something? Wow, every game is in Japanese. Okay, so it seems like we have about, mm, about 100 or so MAME ROMs on there. Bit of a mix between Neo Geo, MAME. So yeah, every game's got a thumbnail, it's nice. So it seems that this build was just built for the cabinet. Okay, so I've been here for about 15 years in Japan and usually have the gamers who play, for example, in the arcades or on their own consoles like the PlayStation or Nintendo. The people that use PCs were mainly those that were working on them. Or you could have the people that were called otaku or computer otaku, pasokon otaku. They might build a PC for their friends and then slam on an image like this with only one purpose. And also you need to remember that none of the 8-bit computers that we had in Europe or US really came out here or had, had any traction in the market. So what you had over here were just loads of people playing NES. <laughs> That's it. You know, in Europe we had what, Commodore 64s and Amigas and you know, we, we were living it up. So when it came to the PCs and emulation, yeah, the Japanese really didn't have a clue. They just thought they were uh, for business and learning. So until Minecraft came along, there was no one playing on the PC, except if you liked Civilization and I think it was the uh, Romance of the Seven Kingdoms games. Yeah, I think they're the only games in the shops. I guess you also need to realize that the society over here is not really of 
a do-it-yourself kind, like we have in the UK. It's more of, uh, I pay money for someone to do something, so you do it. Especially if you're from a big company. Yep. That's it. <laughs> so I'm gonna go change this for something that works. Bye! Hello, welcome to a little vlog. Vlog.